We're going to talk some football right now. We're off to uh, Arkansas. Is it Pine Bluff you're in, Martell? Yeah, it's Pine Bluff, Arkansas. That's home, isn't it? Yes, sir. Where's home going to be next year? Philadelphia? Philadelphia. This has got to be pretty exciting for you. Yeah, it is. I'm very excited. How did this all come about? Martell Mallett, ex of the BC Lions, I guess we can say, now that he signed a contract with the Philadelphia Eagles. Um, how did this all unfold, Martell? Uh, well, you know, um, you know, uh, after the season, I just, you know, uh, lined up a couple workouts and um, I worked out for Philly and it all worked out. I mean, BC gave me a, a great opportunity up there and I just, you know, I, I'm thankful for uh, them for giving me the opportunity, but you know, uh, I'm in Philadelphia now, and I'm just happy to be an Eagle. Where did the uh, Where did you do the workouts? Uh, in Philly. And and what do they What do they do? What do they put you through? Uh, you know, I mean, everyone has uh, you know, different workouts, but um, we pretty much um, you know, ran a few pass routes, did a few drills, and um, and then that was it, pretty much. Did you feel like it went well? Uh, did you feel like, you know, I mean, I guess you know, you feel like you run well, you caught all the passes. Uh, what was your sense when it was over? Well, I felt like, I, um, you know, I was in pretty good shape. And um, I, I think I finished all my uh, runs, you know, when I caught the ball. And I think I caught pretty good. But, you know, I could have did a lot better. But I think overall I did, uh, you know, a pretty good job, though. Did they say anything to you right after it? Or how does it work? Do they contact your agent? What, what What's the process? Well, right after, you know, we just, they set, set you down in the office and, um, you know, we talk to a few people and they pretty much evaluate, have evaluated you and they tell you, you know, um, how, you, how they think you did. And, uh, you know, everyone was impressed and they thought I did a really good job in my workout. And then you got a call a couple of days later? Uh, actually, uh, pretty much it was the same day. Um, you know, we uh, got something together and we decided, you know, that uh, we would go with Philly. Um. So what that mean to you? Ah oh, man, I mean, you know, it mean it means a lot. You know, it's the next uh, chapter in my life, and I'm just looking forward to moving on and and um and um playing in the NFL. Martel Mallett, uh, ex of the BC Lions, now uh, in the employ of the Philadelphia Eagles, the CFL Rookie of the Year, rushing for more than 1,200 yards this past season. Martel, explain to us how the conversation went down with Wally Bono because you weren't in the option year of your contract, so you were technically under contract with the BC Lions, but he allowed you to get out of that. So how did that all transpire? Well, you know, I didn't have much, uh, you know, contact with uh, Wally. We talked uh, on the phone a couple times, but, you know, it was uh, mostly, you know, him and my agent communicating with that part of it. So he, Wally just said, okay, I guess he's got a better opportunity, so we're going to let him go because that's generally not the way things are done in the CFL. If you're under contract, you're going to have to play, but it sounds like this was an exception to the rule. Right, and again, I, I really don't know exactly how the conversation went, but, you know, um it was just him and my agent talking talking about it. And apparently, you know, they um, figured out something. As far as your contract with the Philadelphia Eagles go, were you able to get yourself a signing bonus? Well, um, you know, we worked out a few things, and um, it looked like, you know, pretty pretty standard contract, but everything, you know, looks good, and um, I'm hoping for a bright future in Philly. The only reason I ask is because you know what everybody says. If you get a signing bonus, that gives you some sort of assurance that the team definitely wants to keep you around. What sense do you have from the Eagles that you're definitely part of their plans? And what sense do you have that you're going to really have to work your butt off to show them you belong? Well, um, you know, either way, uh, I'm going to go in. I'm, I know I'm going to have to work hard, you know, and um, I'm going to work hard every day in practice and, and whatever they had me doing. But, um, I mean, um, as far as um, the signing bonus thing goes, I mean, I, I think that they um, – they, I have a um, – uh, 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 you know, I think I'll do real good in the offense, and uh, I think they really like me, and um, they show me a lot of attention. So I'm gonna go up there and um, you know, and, and show them that I can uh, play in the NFL. CFL Rookie of the Year for last season, Martel Mallet joins us this morning, signed with the Philadelphia Eagles. Martel, interesting that you would choose Philadelphia. Was that simply the the one team that decided, yeah, I'll offer you, we'll offer you a contract, or did you see a situation there? And the only reason I ask is because. Brian Westbrook is still under contract there, although people think he may be out. LaShawn McCoy had a real nice season, and Leonard Weaver carried the ball a lot. Do you think there's enough carries for you to go around? I mean, um, actually, it was a few teams that offered me contracts. You know, they weren't the only team, but uh, I think that was the best fit as far as uh, me going, you know, and um, having the opportunity to excel. Do you know any guys with the Eagles, or have people told you anything about the organization? Well, you know, I watch. I'm a football fan. I watch a lot of football, so uh, you know, I'm, I'm I'm aware of a couple guys from Arkansas. Um, um, uh, 
John Andrews and uh, his brother. So, uh, you know, it, it's going to be good, though. I'm just looking forward to the opportunity to play with those guys. Talk about this past 10, maybe even only nine months for you, Martel, because I can remember talking to you in training camp, and after the Lions' second preseason game, you were asked after it, do you think you did enough to make the team? And you at that time said you didn't. You end up being the CFL Rookie of the Year. Talk about your journey over the past number of months. Well, uh, I can't say I remember saying I didn't make, you know, do enough to make the team. But um, I think, um, you know, overall, you know, um, Wally Bono and, uh, you know, the BC organization, they gave me an opportunity. And uh, I'm just, you know, blessed that they gave me a chance to, to uh, play football. And uh, I just ran with the opportunity. And in and, and the last nine months, it's been great. I mean, I couldn't uh, picture anything better. Did you always want to be a football player growing up, Martel? Is that what you wanted to be, or was there another sport or another another job no, uh, you wanted in I, life? I, I, well, since, you know, when you young and playing football and everyone around football, pretty much everyone says that they want to be a football player, and that's one of the things that I said. But you know, it's, it's more things to like than football. But you know, uh, I'm, I'm a, a, a football fan, and, and uh, I'm, I'm just happy to play football, and I love the game. Who's your favorite NFL team growing up? Actually, you know what? I've got that question from like a thousand people, you know, since I've been playing football. And, and I never, you know, I just watch football. Whoever's playing, I just watch. I never had a football fan, I mean, a football team. But, you know, in Arkansas, most of the, um, you know, people's uh, favorite team is Dallas. But, you know, me, I just watch football. I got that question a thousand times, though. Did you have a favorite player? Favorite player? A lot of them. You know, it goes on and on the list. Uh, Emmitt Smith, Walter Payton, I watched them all. Uh, Jerry Rice, it goes on and on. Even the players that are playing today, you know, I have a lot of play- favorite players. Do you know McFadden at all? He's an Arkansas guy, right? Well, I met him a few times. I know a lot of people that, you know, know him because he, he only stays like 20 minutes from me. But, uh, yeah, he's a, he's a great guy and, um, you know, a terrific athlete. So when all is said and done and all your pro careers are over, uh, who's going to be the greatest uh, professional athlete out of Pine Bluff? Is it going to be you, Carl Kidd, or Tory Hunter? <laughs> hey, Tory got a great resume, and so does uh, Carl. But you know, I just I'm just happy to be you know uh, named in a bunch of those guys. You can out talk Carl, though, can't you? Oh no, can't nobody out talk <laughs> Carl. <laughs> uh, we we appreciate you doing this. Uh, we'll catch up to you next year when you're with the Eagles. Thanks a lot, Martell. Congratulations and good luck to you. All right, thanks for having me.